Hey there friends, it's Elizabeth here from the Everyday Storyteller and in this video I'm going to be sharing my process for week 15 in my Digital Project Life album. I am working in one of my own templates that is sized to be the 8x10 size and this is actually the week of the solar eclipse. So I actually have two spreads for this particular week. As you can see, I am currently working on spread number one, where I have a whole bunch of pocket page style photos on the left side, and then a larger full size photo on the right. Whenever I have enough photos to create a two-page spread, I like to um, kind of break up my pocket page style layouts with something full size like this. I kind of think of it as a digital insert. Um, for this particular week, week 15, I'm going to be working with the Allie Edwards birthday digital story kit. You can see that I am adding that celebrate good times card to the 4x6 spot. And then I'm also going to be adding these banner pennants. Um, and I'm going to use those as places for my journaling. So you see that I added one right there that said planning. I'm going to add another one to that bottom left space right there. That one says celebrating. And uh, then I'm going to go into my digital stamps for the birthday story kit. And I'm going to place one of those on top of my large eclipse photo. Um, this is kind of a fun sentiment. It says thankful for another trip around the sun, um, which is of course birthday themed. It's like thankful for another birthday passing. Um, but I thought it was fun considering it was the solar eclipse. Um, and you know the sun and, and everything so that was uh kind of a happy little accident that happened that um, allowed me to use that particular sentiment um, for something that it wasn't necessarily meant to be used for because it's meant to be used for birthday but it also fit here for this photo of the solar eclipse and just in case you're wondering no that is not my photo we were in the bath of totality um, for the eclipse but um, I wasn't able to get a good photo like that so that is actually one that I got off the internet so now I'm going to be working on my journaling spots. So you can see that I added a white background to that celebrate good times um, sentiment. And then I am going to go in and um, I am going to kind of um, resize these pennants so that um, they kind of fit the the height of my photos so they match the height of my photos and instead of making them into three by four spots I'm going to keep that pennant shape and I'm actually going to just add an outline stroke to those pennants so that you can they kind of pop off the page because you can see the outline of the pennant um, and I am going to do that in different colors that are represented inside of this kit so I'm literally taking the colors from that celebrate good times four by six and and I'm going to use those as outlines um, for these banner pennants. Of course, I am going to be using these banner pennants as spots for journaling. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pen tool to create a custom shape um, in that shape of a banner. And I'm going to fill it with text. I'm going to do that for both of my uh, pendant shapes. You can see that right there. Um, I am also going to add a digital stamp to that top 4x6 card. This one says story in Allie's handwriting, and I am going to change the color to match um, that light blue color that is included in the kit. Um, and I do that by double clicking on the digital stamp in the layers panel, and then um, simply using the color overlay style in the styles panel. So the next thing I am going to do is um, add some word phrase stickers to this page. So I am going to open up my word phrase stickers in a separate file, and then I am going to use the rectangular marquee tool to cut out some sentiments that I wanna add to this particular spread. 
Um, you can see that I'm taking a look at the additional kit again just to make sure that um, I don't have any other sentiments from the kit that I could use and I just have the word phrase stickers. And um, now that they are on different layers and that they're individually cut out by using the rectangular marquee tool, I go ahead and add them onto my spread on the 3x4 style photos. I decided to also add a little bit of journaling on that eclipse photo, so I went ahead and added that right underneath the digital stamp and both of those both the text and the stamp are in white so as we move on to spread number two for this particular week um, you'll notice that I actually do have quite a lot of photos because this was the week of my husband's birthday and we also had um, a doctor's appointment for my second daughter um, so I have a lot of photos and I'm actually going to keep both sides of this spread as this pocket page style um, so that I can add as many photos as I possibly can onto here. So you're going to see that I'm going to follow the exact same steps. I'm going to first add in all of my photos into the rectangular pockets that I think they fit best in. Um, as you can see, I am changing um, the shape as well as the orientation of some of the photos. And I'm kind of just playing around with with which ones work better in which spaces. This left side is dedicated to kind of the first half of the week or the middle part of the week, I should say, um, when we went for our doctor's appointment. This was kind of a momentous doctor's appointment, so that is why there's a lot of photos there. Um, and then the right side of the spread is going to be dedicated to um, my husband's birthday party and all of those festivities. So I am just filling in all of my photos here into several of the pockets. And then I'm gonna take a look back at the birthday digital story kit just to see what kind of things I can add onto here. It was really fun to see how I could add in these uh, birthday sentiments to document the entire week, not just my husband's birthday. I thought that that um, balloon style happy journaling card was perfect to document um, everything about the doctor's appointment. And then I'm also going to be adding another digital stamp to this top 4x6 style photo. I went with the sentiment celebrating and I wanted to be a little bit playful with this particular digital stamp so I end up curving it around my baby bump by using the warp function. I um, chose the arch uh, style and I just messed with the angles a little bit to make it so that it's just slightly curved around the baby bump. So I really like how that turned out. Um, now we're going to move on to the right side of the page. You're going to see that I change the size of some of my boxes. I'm going to replace that 4x6 style with two more 3x4s so that I have more room for um, vertical photos. And I'm going to start adding those onto this side of my spread. At this point, I also remember that I have been using those pendant banners um, for my journaling. So I'm going to go back into my digital kit and replace that happy journaling card with a pennant. Um, so I'm just going to go in and do the same thing where I change the outline to a stroke and uh, size it to fit the height of my photos. This one says planning um, and I'm going to fill that in with journaling in the exact same way that I filled it in with text um, on the other spread. Then I'm going to finish up adding in all of my photos. Um, you can see that all of them are birthday photos because we celebrated my husband's birthday over the weekend. Um, I am very proud of my cake. Um, I spent the first couple of years of our marriage getting used to making homemade cakes and I think I've finally got it down, cross fingers, um, and my cakes for him usually turn out kind of the way that I want them to, which is great. 
Um, you're going to see that I also add in two more three by four style photos down below so that I can add even more photos because, um, we took a lot of vertical photos and not a lot of horizontal photos. Um, so that just works better for the spread. And because this is digital, I can change the layout of these rectangles any which way I want, um, which makes these digital pocket pages really fun because I don't have to worry about adhering to a particular page protector style I can create my own. I'm going to add another one of those pendant cards to this side of my spread as well as a journaling card that says birthday. I don't think it's actually this one um, because I did want to actually add some written journaling. Yeah, so I change it to this one, which um, is originally a four by six, um, but I crop it down to fit inside of that three by four style space. Um, and then I have some room to add a little bit of journaling on the side of that birthday sentiment. Um, I also add one another of these uh, pendants and I'm going to make the outline uh, match one of the colors of the text. Um, I go ahead and kind of uh, switch around the colors of my outline a couple of times just to figure out which colors work best so that I don't have too much green on one side and um, not a lot of the rest of the colors on the other. Um, I'm also going to go in and to create some more continuity with the first spread, I'm going to go in and add some more of these word phrase stickers. Again, I am using the rectangular marquee tool to cut out specific phrases um, and add them as new layers onto this spread. You can say, you can see that I am using that making memories one. And then I also add a couple of more on photos of his birthday party, his gifts and things like that. Um, once that is done, I'm going to save both of these spreads as PNG files and we will hop on over to Bookwrite, which is the proprietary software from Blurb that I will use to print these as a physical eight by 10 book. I'm going to go ahead and add in the two layouts that we created for week 15. And once I place them inside of the Bookwrite software, um, we're going to be able to see what they look like when they will be printed out. And then um, I am going to be using the preview tool to get a sense of how that looks. So thank you so much for joining me for week 15 in my Digital Project Life album. I can't wait to see you again. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Have a wonderful day. Bye.